Welcome to the Geo Solar Lighting Kit Video Installation Guide. This video is to be used in conjunction with the supplied instructions. Please read these thoroughly and seek professional assistance if you are at all unsure as to what to do. Please note positive is always the red wire, negative is always the black wire. The first step of your installation is to situate your battery in a dry location out of the way. On the front of your charge controller you have three lights, one for charge from the panel, one to show load from the battery and the last to show level of charge in the battery. You need to situate this close to the battery and in a position where all three lights can be seen. Mark the location of the holes. Then attach the controller to the wall. Measure and prepare a piece of wire to connect between the battery and the charge controller. Once prepared, the wire should look like this. For this short distance, we're just going to use the inner core. Position one end of the wire under the washer on the positive side of the battery and tighten bolt. Connect the other end to the third terminal from the left on the charge controller. Do the same with the negative wire, this time connecting it from the negative terminal on the battery to the fourth terminal on the charge controller. You will see the load and battery light indicator come on. Cut the positive side in half and prepare to fix the inline fuse in place. The fuse is made up of several pieces, be careful not to lose any. Loosen the screws on each of the metal wire clamps. Place each half of the plastic casing over each part of the positive wire and put the spring into one half of the plastic casing. Attach the metal clamps to each side of the positive wires. Pull the plastic casing over the metal clamp and place the fuse in between the two halves, then screw the two pieces together. Now, decide where you'd like to position your light switch and fix the back box to the wall. Measure the distance between the switch and your battery and cut a piece of wire to the correct length. Prepare the wire ends as shown earlier and connect the positive side into the switch. Once complete, connect the negative into the connector block. At the other end of the wire, prepare the ends again as before, but this time remove about 10 centimeters of the outer black sheath. Twist the negative from the light together with the negative that is currently connected to the battery. Do the same with the positive. And this is how it should look. Take 
detach either the negative or the positive wire from the battery before wiring the bulb holders to the light switch. Measure the wire to go between each bulb holder, then between the first bulb holder and the light switch. Prepare the end of the wire and connect the positive into the light switch. Once complete, connect the negative into the connection block. If you have a kit with multiple light fittings, take the wire from the switch and the wire to the second bulb holder and twist the positive wires together. Do the same with the negative wires. Loosen the screws on the bottom of the bulb holder and thread the twisted together wires through the hole, positive one side and negative the other. Repeat this process for each bulb holder you have. It's time to test the circuit. Place your bulbs into each bulb holder, reconnect the wires to the battery and turn the switch on. All your bulbs should light up. If they do, simply put the bulbs to one side in a safe location. If they don't, remove the bulb, turn through 180 degrees and reinsert into bulb holder. Once you have established that all your wiring is okay and that the circuit works, you can tidy the system by drilling a hole in the top and bottom of the light switch back box and cutting grooves for the wires in the bulb holders. Remember, before doing any rewiring, to disconnect either the positive or the negative from the battery. The final part of the system install is the solar panel. To wire this, remove the cover on the plastic box on the back of the panel and unscrew the screws inside. Thread prepared wire through the hole in the plastic box. Attach ring clips to the positive and negative wires, making sure that these are clamped tightly to the wire. Screw each of the ring clips into place, negative to the left and positive to the right. Secure the wire with the metal clamp. Replace the cover of the plastic box. Lay the panel face down in the desired south facing location on the roof of your shed and mark where the holes in the frame are situated. The fixings that are used should then be attached to the roof of your shed and the panel connected to these fixings with the cable ties. Run the cable along the shortest route back to your charge controller. Before connecting the panel to the charge controller, make sure the battery has been connected and the battery light is on. Connect the panel and the charge light should now light up. 